Tricks of My Hog. My name is Steve Noble. I've got a 2012 883 Iron Sports Drop on lift today. And we're going to take the Jiffy Stand off and put it back on. This is a procedure you would use if you were replacing springs, maybe replacing the worn out bushings in there, or maybe it's just squeaking a lot. Really straightforward repair. Most people can knock this out with basic hand tools in their driveway. Let's get to it. All right, we are down here on the left side of the motorcycle and uh, got our Jiffy Stand here. Got it in the up position. Uh, removal of the jivvy stand is pretty straightforward. Um, there should either be what's called a pretzel clip right here, or obviously someone's already had this apart and they replaced the pretzel clip with a cotter pin. Either way it works. All you're really going to do is you take your finger or some needle nose pliers, bend the cotter pin back straight, bend it back to a straightish position. As long as you're that way you can uh, grab it here and pull it right on through. Make sure the pin's pushed all the way up. Should be able to grab the cotter pin and just whoop, pull it around there, through. And uh, we're going to discard this and we're going to put a new pin in there. Um, just because they corrode and they get old. Uh, from there, it's a pretty straightforward process. Take something with a relatively flat edge on it, like a Phillips screwdriver, in this place, in this case, a Torx driver, and just push down and push the pin right on out of there, and then the jiffy stand will pretty much fall off. I have to give it a little tap of your hand there. You're going to keep track of these bushings if they're still in good shape. Now we got to push down a little bit. Should be able to. Push the pin the rest of the way on down. Pull it back out of there. Keep track of the bottom bushing as well. Now from there, let it go loose. Should be able to unhook the spring and pull the jiffy stand right on off of there. Pretty much that simple. Now we're going to clean up the uh, jiffy stand and uh, clean up the uh, pivoting pin here. It's in pretty decent shape. Uh, the bushings, there's a little bit of wear on them, if you can see down in there. They're not worn out, but I picked up some new ones anyways from a local parts store. Uh, they're only a few dollars. Uh, so we'll put new ones in there uh, with some new lube and uh, put it all back together. So let's clean her on up. All right, everything is all cleaned up. Now, Harley recommends some aerosol anti-seize. Um, so we're gonna give it a little hose down in there. Whoop, almost out too. Give the bushings a good little hose down there. And of course, the pin too. We'll just lube that up really well there. Bushings are all nice and lubed. Got some down inside the stand there. Now from here, we're going to take our new bushings. And they won't really stick up in place, so we're going to slide the bottom one onto the pin here. Just like so. We're going to take our stand. And we're going to take our spring, which our spring's still in pretty good shape, uh, so we're going to reuse it. Um, if it was worn out, uh, I would recommend replacing the spring. Um, so we'll snake it back through the stand there. And then snake it back through the mount up in the uh, bottom of the frame. Hang on a second there. Got a little ahead of myself. When you do this, you need to have the stand in the up position, or close to the up position, and then you can move the jiffy stand up into place there. Then slide the pin in with the bushing on it from the bottom. It should just slide right on up there. Now if you move it around as you do this, you should be able to get the bushing to pop into place from the bottom as well. Alright, now that the pin's all the way up, we can take our new lubed up bushing right here. We can drop that on from the top. Again, move the jiffy stand a little bit to get it locked into place. Everything looks pretty good right there. Alright, the last step is we're going to take our new pretzel clip that we got from the uh, local parts supplier. 
kind of like cotter pin, but spring-loaded. We're just going to slide that right on through there like so. Slide it right back up over top of there. Spring tension holds it in. And hey! Alright, there you have it. Everything's back together. Bushings and pins are all looped up. And got a new pretzel clip in there to hold it all together. We're ready to go ride. That's all I really have for you today. Uh, my name is Steve Noble. This is Fix My Hog. Thank you for watching.